من النار فانقذكم منها كذلك يبين الله لكم آياته لعلكم لعلكم تهتدون صدق الله العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Praise be to Allah. And peace and blessings be upon His Messenger. Your Excellency, Mr. Donald Trump, the President of the United States of America. Your Majesties, Your Excellencies, Your Highnesses, I would like to welcome you to your second country, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Leaders of both the Arab and Muslim worlds, please allow me to welcome His Excellency, our friend Mr. Donald Trump, the President of the United States, in a historic, unprecedented summit that is held at a time of paramount importance and extreme danger. Our meeting with the President of the United States, a country that has deep and friendly relations with many of our countries, embodies His Excellency's interest in and keenness on deepening cooperation and continuing to coordinate positions in different fields. It also signifies that our Arab and Muslim countries that are gathering today and whose number is 55, and whose population exceeds one and a half billion people, are important partners in fighting the forces of extremism and terrorism, as well as in achieving world security, stability, and peace. His Excellency has many hopes and aspirations for cooperation with the Arab and Muslim worlds. As we thank His Excellency and appreciate his attending and participating in this summit, we would like to confirm our pleasure and appreciation for his choosing your country, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and your summit as his first foreign trip and participation, which reflects his interest and the interest of his country in your blessed summit. At the same time, we confirm that we share with His Excellency the same noble feelings of constructive cooperation to reject extremism, work on fighting all forms of terrorism, stop its financing and its propagation, dry up its sources and stand firm in confronting this scourge that poses a danger to all of humanity. We are gathered here today at the summit to express seriousness in taking vigorous steps to realize a true partnership with the friendly United States in a way that serves our common interests and contributes to achieving security, peace and development for all of humanity. This is what our straightforward Islamic religion confirms. Dear brothers and friends, our responsibilities towards God, towards our peoples, and towards the entire world is to stand united to fight the forces of evil and extremism, whatever their sources are, in response to the dictates of our Islamic religion. Islam was and will always be the religion of mercy, tolerance, and coexistence, as confirmed by a brilliant precedent. In its prosperous times, Islam provided the best examples of coexistence and harmony among followers of religions and cultures. However, we see today that some presumed Muslims ask seek to present a distorted picture of religion, a picture that seeks to conflate this great religion with, with violence. We say to our Muslim brothers and sisters, our sons and daughters, everywhere, 
كان أحد أهم مقاصد الشريعة الإسلامية هو حفظ النفس من الإشراف ولا شرف في ارتكاب جرائم القتل في الإسلام Islam is the religion of peace and tolerance. It urges its followers to develop earth and forbids them from corrupting it. It considers killing an innocent soul tantamount to killing all of humanity. Our way to achieve the goals of our religion and win everlasting life in heaven is to promote the tolerant values of Islam which are based on peace, moderation, and refraining from destroying and corrupting earth. We all, peoples and countries, reject in every language and denounce in every form damaging damaging the relations of Muslim countries with friendly countries and profiling peoples and countries on a religious or sectarian basis. These odious acts are the products of attempts to exploit Islam as a cover for political purposes to flame hatred, extremism, terrorism, and religious and sectarian conflicts as the Iranian regime and the groups and organizations tied to it do, such as Hezbollah and the Houthis, as well as Daesh, Al-Qaeda, and others. The Iranian regime has been the spearhead of global terrorism since the Khomeini revolution until now. We have been in this country for 300 years and have known no terrorism or extremism until the Khomeini revolution began in 1979. Iran has turned down all good neighborliness initiatives offered by our nations with goodwill. It has responded with expansionist aspirations, criminal practices, and interference in the internal affairs of other countries, thus violating the principles of international law, good neighborliness, and mutual respect and coexistence. The Iranian regime thought that our silence was weakness and our wisdom was retreat until we had enough of its hostile practices and interference as we witness in Yemen and other countries in the region. As we say this, we assert at the same time our respect and appreciation for the Iranian people. We do not hold people responsible for the actions of their regime. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has long suffered from terrorism and has been the target for it because Saudi Arabia is the center of Islam and the Qibla for all Muslims. Terrorist ideology seeks to achieve its fake legitimacy and its spread through targeting the Qibla of all Muslims and the center of their weight. We have succeeded in confronting terrorist actions foiling many terrorist attempts. We have also helped our brothers and friends around the world to avoid plots targeting their security and stability. Dear brothers and friends, in our continued efforts in confronting terrorism, the GCC states concluded today a historic agreement with the United States of America to adopt strict measures to target financing terrorism by establishing a center in Riyadh to target terrorism financing. We look forward to more countries joining the center in the future, as this agreement will be a model to follow will be a model to follow based on our existing efforts in this regard. I confirm on behalf of my brothers, the attending leaders of the Islamic countries, that we will be firm in prosecuting anyone who finances or supports terrorism in any shape or form and bring him to justice.
Mr. President, dear brothers and friends, in our continued war on terrorism, we confirm our resolve to eradicate Daesh and other terrorist organizations regardless of their religion, sect, or ideology. That was the reason we all formed the Islamic Military Alliance to fight terrorism, which was a pioneering step to curb terrorism. Terrorism is a result of extremism. In light of the need to confront terrorism, we declare today launching the Global Center for Combating extremist ideology, which aims to disseminate the principles of moderation and tolerance, confront attempts to deceive the young, shield families and societies, and refute the frail claims of terrorists by cooperating with peace-loving nations and international organizations. Dear brothers and friends, but is the successful safeguard. This is what Saudi Vision 2030 embodies in all its aspects. Keenness on investing in youth, enabling women, diversifying the economy, and improving education. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia undoubtedly supports and encourages every effort by any brotherly or friendly nation that aims at accomplishing sustainable development in their countries. We emphasize that achieving peace between the Palestinians and the Israelis is a just and crucial demand which requires shared sacrifice and sincere determination for the benefit of all. The international community the community should intensify its efforts to resolve the Syrian crisis, to achieve the aspirations of the Syrian people and preserve Syria's unity and sovereignty. Your Majesties, Your Excellencies, Your Highnesses, the hopes and aspirations of our peoples are huge and our responsibilities to achieve them are great. But your resolve, keenness, and care will enable us to face these duties with will and firmness, and we are committed to development as a strategic goal to confront extremism and terrorism and provide a prosperous life. May God help us achieve the good for our peoples. God bless you.